Over the last couple of years, anybody working in accountancy or tax has been well aware of the fact that making tax digital was very definitely on the horizon. When the decision was taken to only introduce it for VAT in 2019, people started to relax. They thought, well, that's fine because we already file electronically for VAT and therefore nothing's really going to change. It wasn't until we looked at the detail that people started to realize that because you weren't able to modify data from your original software to filing, that was going to create some problems. We're in a situation where you weren't able to re-enter data on the Revenues website, for example, meaning that their own system was no longer going to work under MTD. Many software houses have said the only way to deal with this is to buy our products across the whole uh, process from the very first part of data entry all the way through to VAT filing. But what about people who have been using the Revenues own software or people who like to use Excel spreadsheets to produce their VAT information? Well, the excellent news is that at Absolute we've been working on an answer to that problem and we now have one. The Revenue have confirmed that our system works and I'm delighted to confirm that the Absolute Excel VAT filer is now available. What will follow in this video is a short explanation of, as to exactly how that works as our support team walk you through the process. Then at the end of that, you'll be able to find information about how to buy it, the full prices, and also who to contact if you have any further questions. So on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that it shows the business name, the VAT number, the start and end date, and boxes one to nine that you'll already be familiar with. The next step is to create the link between the original cash book and the absolute Excel VAT filer. To do this, you need to click on the link button on the right hand side of the screen. So once you've done that, a box would appear on screen asking you where you wish to link it to. So for example, where does the business game come from? To create the link, I need to open up the original spreadsheets in my cash book, click into the business name cell and then press OK. Box 1, you can see it at the bottom there. So I click into it and again press OK. You then click on the Finish button. So now that you've linked the spreadsheet, it's just a case of submitting the figures to HMRC. So to do this, you would click on the Submit button in the top right hand corner of the screen. This then opens the following screen. So really you're just checking that you're happy with the figures. Once you are, you click on Submit VAT Return, Confirm and Finalise. It will then take you to the following screen. You need to select Continue and enter your user ID and password. Once you've entered those, you then just click on the Sign In button. Select Grant Authority and you should then get the following screen which says VAT Submission Success. You can then click on download receipt, open the receipt on screen. What you'll see is it says that there was a successful transmission with the VAT number, the period and the relevant figure for the box number that you filed to HMRC. For more information or to register your interest, please visit our website www.absoluteexcelvatfiler.co.uk, email sales at absolutetax.co.uk or phone 01869 255 797. Prices start from as little as £40 plus VAT for up to 10 traders.